Net biggin. Net biggin. Net biggin. You can spend a lifetime trying to get to this tournament. So, you know, when you get here, it's it's go big or go home. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Get him over here. Get him over here. Get him over here. There you go. He's seven. Catching these big ones, that builds momentum. <clears throat> Look at this car. <laughs> this is the sixth All-American that I've been to. Love the Pro-Am part. The whole deal is the All-American. It is about to go down. Qualifying for the All-American was a big goal for my career. If I were to win one, we would definitely move up to something. My goal this week, 100%, is to come down here and try to win this tournament. Number five. And try to make that Forest Wood Cup. There's Nick. I mean, it's, it's no surprise that, that we found the same the same areas. Randy's going to be hard to catch. Uh, he's a great angler. and I know he's going to bring it, but we're going to have to bring it, too. There's no better place for outdoorsmen than Louisiana. And for bass fishermen, all you have to do is travel to Shreveport to find Cross Lake, one of the hidden gems of this beautiful state and a remarkable fishery for its size. It's awesome, absolutely awesome. Shallow, cypress trees, duck blinds, riprap, anything you, if you're a shallow water fisherman, that's the place to come. Absolutely awesome lake. Seeing how many 20 pound bags we saw yesterday, I think we saw eight of them, over 19 to be in the top 10. Um, I mean, this lake has really got some quality fish in it. 98 of the best amateur anglers in the country have earned an invitation to compete in the TH Marine BFL All-American. And after one full day of competition, the leader is a local angler who barely qualified to make it into this event. Our regional was last October out here on Red River, and I tied for sixth with 23 pounds, three day total. It was a grind, and I tied for sixth, and uh, I had the biggest stringer of the tournament. So that was a tiebreaker, so I barely made it here. The TH Marine Bass Fishing League is made up of 24 divisions across the country. The top 45 from each division compete in one of six regional qualifiers, and the top six boaters and co-anglers in those events earn a slot in the All-American. In addition, the TBF National Championship sends the top qualifiers from their seven divisions. The full field competes on the first two days, while only 10 boaters and 10 co-anglers fish on the third and final day, with the cumulative weight determining the winner. Now, yesterday my first bite wasn't until 8.30, so this is just kind of trying to get a bonus fish. Fishing these isolated blinds, you just, you gotta fish them like there's a five pounder laying there and you're just trying to make it bite. You really can't get in a hurry or you got to be optimistic, to say the least. Net. Broke me off. That was a giant. Oh my gosh. I was on some wire or something. Did you see the whirl that thing <laughs> yeah. was putting off? Oh, That's what's oh, out here. Sakes. Holy cow. I was on something. It looked I, like a washing machine. Yeah, man. that was. That's what we're after. Cross Lake is a small lake perfect for these 49 boats. There's a high concentration of cypress trees on the western end that fish tend to move to during the spawn and then spread back out to take up residence under the vast number of docks. In addition, there are a few duck blinds that hold quality bass. And that's where we find Nick this morning. It's been a goal for my career for a few years and uh, it feels good to finally make it here, right here at home. Net. <laughs> Thank you, bud. I didn't do much. That's okay. Look at his tail, it's gone. Tails, yeah. That's weird. All right. That's one of those bonus fish we're looking for. I didn't start catching them about 9.15, 9.30 yesterday, but it was, it was this stretch I just fished. Well, I'm learning one thing, they don't seem to be replenishing. This morning I thought I'm gonna have to catch 20 pounds again. Uh, I, you know, the way they caught them yesterday, for me to, I felt, it like I, I felt like I needed 16 pounds to make the cut. I am flying by the seat of my pants. I have no idea. It's gonna depend on the weights at the end of the day. Um, yeah, if I can get bit like I got bit yesterday, yeah, look out. But you know, are those bites still out there? I don't know. There's a lot of pressure on the plate right now. I was in the area where I caught just about all my big fish yesterday, and that was the first 
small fish, you know, a 13 inch was the first one I caught this morning there. So yeah, I was a little, little worried. Not much, but it's a start. This tournament here, I mean, there's no points involved in this tournament. This is the tournament that you, you can spend a lifetime trying to get to this tournament. So, you know, when you get here, it's, it's go big or go home. There's, uh, you only get so many chances to fish, you know, a tournament like this. So, you know, you don't want to leave anything on the table. Just give it, give it all you got and however it shakes out is how it shakes out. You know, you win this tournament, you can win a hundred grand, you get a chance to fish in the Forest Wood Cup. Um, I mean, it's just an incredible, incredible opportunity. Uh -oh. that? No. Okay. Here you go. About time somebody caught one. Just so you know, this little section right here is where I caught three of them, so. I haven't had a really good morning bite at all, even in practice. When the sun gets up and it's calm, it really puts them hard up on the shade of the trees and to me makes them easier to catch. And today just hadn't been that day. This morning they kind of wanted to eat it, but then it normally gets better and I'm still waiting on it to get better and it hadn't yet. And they don't mess around when they eat it. Every day in practice and yesterday when they came up and ate it, they ate it. Today it's been, I've had a lot of fish come up and just and not get it. Like they're just too educated right now. Like they know what's going on. It happened fast though. I caught my weight in an hour yesterday. So, I mean, I'm not, not sweating it yet, but at 10.30 yesterday, I didn't have but three fish. And then between 11 and about 11.45, 12 o'clock, I had everything. They just started biting. So the main thing with this pattern, uh, obviously it's a lot to do with this bait. It's a six cents movement bait, uh, bluegill color. But the key is, is you've got to kind of deflect off these tree roots and the side of these cypress trees. And that's hard to do because you get hung up a lot, but um, I'm almost having to do that to get bit. I very rarely get bit just reeling it by the tree. When they're biting good, you don't have to deflect that much. But most of the time I catch a big and I'll feel that bait clang off that tree and I just get ready. Net. Thank you, buddy. Crush that six cents movement bait. Crushed it. It's cut day, and Nick LeBrun is doing what he needs to do to stay in contention for the TH Marine BFL All-American Championship on Cross Lake in Shreveport, Louisiana. Stay tuned for more action. The TH Marine BFL All-American is brought to you by TH Marine, from transom to trolling motor. Yeti, built for the wild. BRP Evanrude, learn more at evanrude.com. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. General Tire, anywhere is possible. And by Costa Del Mar. See what's out there. When you've got that sunshine, you can you can predict where they're going to be, on what side of the tree they're going to be, or where on the duck blind they're going to be. And when it's like this, you can't. The fish are still on them. They just it's just they roam a little more. Net. I got rattled this morning when when uh, we started. You know, I fished for maybe an hour without a bite, and I finally caught a little one. Kept fishing, didn't get any more bites, and, and just finally just swapped completely, swapped patterns, and, and went to flipping big line duck blinds and started getting bit, and it, it calmed me down, and I, I started to settle down a little better, better, and started fishing, fishing a little better. I've been getting bites doing this; they just hadn't been very big. Adam Wagner out there on day two, trying to piece together the puzzle. In this 2018 edition of the TH Marine BFL All American, you better be ready for a big bite at any time. They've come from every different direction so far. For Nick LeBrun, it was an eight pounder on his first cast of the tournament, and that bite propelled him to the top of the leaderboard where he still holds a slim one pound margin over his good buddy, 
The other local in this event, Randy Deaver. Really making the right cast is kind of the key to this pattern. You'll see my body language change a lot. I'm trying to really rub that bait just right on that tree and, and get different angles and stuff. And I wish you could just get bit reeling it by the tree easily, but most of the big bites I get, it's on some weird, cake, crazy angle and you kind of got to work for them. But as long as they're the right size, I don't mind. It reminds me of where I grew up and that's Caddo Lake shallow cypress trees and you know that's kind of all there really is. Uh, you can fish boat docks but I think the fish to win are on the shallow cypress trees at stained water so just that's, I'm just comfortable fishing that. That's a bass. Come on get over there. Got her. Way slow on that one. Ah, uh, on that frog, they'll be hooked pretty good. <laughs> It'd be nice had been about a three little bonus fish like that, but we'll take it. I don't know anything about Cross Lake. I mean, it's obviously got a lot of good fish in it. I, I would have to think that the, lake, that the weights are gonna have to fall off a little bit. I mean, there was, I think 19 and 19 and some change was 10th place yesterday. I mean, there was eight bags over 20. Um, being that this lake is as small as it is and, and the caliber of fishermen that we've got this week, you know, these areas are getting a lot of pressure, but you know, the worm that I'm throwing, it, it actually stands up off the bottom. The tail of it's gonna stand up. And, you know, I think that's just that one little thing that's a little bit different than, than what these fish are used to seeing. And I really feel like it's helping get me a few more bites a day. There he is. Good one. Get him. Yes. There's number five. Number five, about two and a half. Sometimes it's a little stretch where it's a streak where you catch a bunch, but for the most part, it's been grinding. But look what I get, look at this coal. I'll show you that, you ready? <laughs> it's sad that I had one of them in there. There's a section of water behind the cypress trees between the cypress tree and the seawall that no guys are wanting to get by there to fish. And then fish on the windblown banks and the, they're all pushed up and hard up on the seawalls in the back side of all the trees. Everybody goes down there, flips front of the docks, front of the trees, keeps on going. I'm getting on the back side and running everything pretty much clean water. But I'm also fishing and it's just eight or nine inches all day. Net, big and... Come on, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sun needs to stay out. I felt like 15 I'd fish tomorrow. Cause no, I don't think them boys are gonna catch them as good. And with that, it's time to take these bass to the stage in downtown Shreveport along the riverfront. Where we are set up at the Bass Pro Shops outdoor store. 16 pounds, 14 ounces, 17 pounds, 10 ounces worth, dude. That's gonna move you way up that board. John Duvall's gonna walk away 15 pounds, 15 ounces on day two. 18 pound and three ounces for a total of 33 pound and 11 ounces. Puts him in sixth place. Roger Fitzpatrick working on him. 20 pounds, six ounces. You're at 39 pounds, 10 ounces right here on Cross Lake. It's what you always want to do is make the top 10 and then, uh, you know, let, let the cards fall where they fall the next day. 16 pounds even for a total of 42 pounds, nine ounces. Your local hometown boy right here staying in the lead, Randy Deaver, 25 pounds and three ounces for a total of 46 pounds and three ounces. Puts him in the lead. I'm super pumped. I was I was very blessed today to get those bites. Some big bites throughout the day have Randy Deaver out front as we head into the final day of the 2018 TH Marine BFL All-American. You can't predict what will happen on this lake. It has so much potential on every cast. Stay tuned.
we'll start in a spot this morning that's new water. I think I'm six pounds down, something in that neighborhood, which is, is a big hurdle in bass fishing. But on a lake like this, when you can literally catch five five pounders, uh, you know, I feel good. A good friend of mine, Randy's in first. He's got a little bit of a lead on me. So uh, today I'm just going to kind of swing for the fence and uh, hope to have another amazing day. I think I'm gonna need another big bag to seal the deal. I believe today with the guys that are that are right behind me, I don't I don't have that much of a lead, uh, especially on second. And he's an extremely good fisherman. I, I believe it's gonna take 18 pounds uh, at least, maybe 20. I'm gonna have to have another big bag today to uh, to seal the deal. Ten anglers and co-anglers are left to fish on the final day of the TH Marine BFL All American, and each of them getting their mental game together before heading out onto Cross Lake here in Shreveport, Louisiana. Adam Wagner won this event back in 2009 and he understands what an honor it is to compete against these guys. Could first time qualifier Randy Deaver hold on to his lead? Let's get it started to find out. A lot of the fish that spawn back in these woods, what we on the west end here, after they spawn, they pull out, and a lot of them will get out here on this isolated cover. Uh, a lot of bigger fish, they get a lot of pressure uh, on this lake, due you know due to it's I mean visible in the wide open. I've been fishing ever since I was you know little little bitty kid. I mean I've always loved to fish. Uh, I'm a firefighter in Shreveport full time. I've got a guide business on the side. With my time off from the fire station, the way our, our shifts rotate, I'm on the water right at 200 days a year and have been for several, several years. Uh, I just always have loved to fish. And then I decided just to, to crank with this little square bill. You just can't let it, it gets down in the, uh, the bottom, it's got a lot of silt. So even though it's a little small, shallow running square bill, it, it's, uh, once it hangs that stuff on bottom, it messes it up, they won't hit it for me. So I'm kind of trying to, try, they, they've been hitting it, burning it. But I'm uh, just trying to hit, there's some brush out here. I'm trying to hit that brush and get them to react to it. Net. Come on, come on. Boom. Ah. It's the earliest I've caught a fish all in two days. I felt like I shook some big ones off during practice and then the first day having 22-12, uh, I, was, I was really blown away. I knew there was some good fish in here, but I thought it was going to be you catch a big one, you catch three or four, you know, two and a half pounders and you're going to be doing good. Well, that, that's not the case. It was catch, you better catch four pounders. Uh, but yeah, I impressive lake. To, to, to be the size that it is, really impressive. Got him. You got him? Big. Nice. There was a little island on the west end before you get to the west end that I, I've caught some. I caught some the, the first day of the tournament. And I pulled in there and uh, pitched to just a real shallow tree and, and picked up and it was swimming off and set the hook. And didn't really think it was going to be a big one, but it ended up being a close to a five pounder. That's what a little worm catch you. <laughs> in the BFLs, there are literally hundreds of tournaments you can compete in. They are the grassroots start for anyone looking to get a taste of competitive bass Atta fishing. Boy. And you don't even need a boat to yeah. enter. The co-anglers, who are fishing from the back of the boat here in this All-American, have had to earn their slots just like the guys from the front of the boat. And the winner will receive up to $60,000. Going into our final day, Jesse Parks from Avondale, Arizona, had a small lead over Mike Allen of Crystal Springs, Mississippi. They are paired with the boater by standings, and thus get to ride with the two locals leading this event. Started fishing boater co-angler tournaments back in 2011, I think. Been fishing uh, BFLs, Costas, things like that. And uh, early 2017, I kind of left my regular job. And uh, so now I'm really just trying to focus on fishing all the time. And uh, I feel like I'm fishing for a living now, ever since early 2017, and uh, it feels good. You gotta get close to these trees to deflect this bait properly and to kinda get in there where you need to get. And a lot of times they'll kinda track it for a second. And th like that eight pounder on day one, he hit with about 
10 foot of line out. Net. He's not big, but he's bigger than the other four we don't have. No matter how big, every little bite you get is just a little momentum builder. Just kind of get your mind right, let you know you're doing the right thing, and you gotta have the momentum. Someone who came storming in with momentum is Tyler Morgan. The young angler from Georgia has been working a frog almost exclusively and having a much better showing here on his second All-American. I've been in the for two years. I fished the Bama and Bulldog the first year and just the Bulldog the second year. I made the All-American both years. Last year, Pickwick was awesome, but I'm a shallow fisherman, so Pickwick didn't treat me well. I finished 16th. I spent three days practicing prior to cutoff and whacked them. Really liked the lake. I knew it set up the fish the way I like to fish. It, you can't fish offshore. I'm not going to get beat offshore here, and I can catch them shallow. So I was just going to go up here and fish the way I fish and knew if I could catch them, I could do well. The 35th All-American has been full of variety. As we take a look at the leaderboard, Randy Deaver, one of the pre-tournament favorites, is hanging on to his lead. But the final day is just getting started. So come on back for more action. It's the TH Marine BFL All-American. It's a dream come true if I could if I could make it to the cup. Uh, you don't get many chances like that, you know, to make it, and it's uh, something I've dreamed about since I was a little kid. If I were to make it to the Forest Hill Wood Cup at Lake Washita, that would mean everything to me. I strive to try to fish at the tour level someday. To do well enough here today, um, that would definitely be a, a good confidence builder. It's on everyone's mind as they fish this event. Not only can you win $100,000, but you can earn yourself a shot at another $300,000 at the Forest Wood Cup. For Nick Lebrun and Randy Deaver, it's a matter of staying focused on the task at hand because these two local anglers are sharing the same water here on Cross Lake. Yesterday, I come in here at 12.30 and finished out my limit on a frog. and uh, It was pretty fast and furious in here in the afternoon. Looks like an afternoon type thing which that's okay. And I was really excited and happy to get on this movement bait pattern in practice because, you know, it's a yes or no bait. You, you cling it off the tree, and if they're gonna bite, they're gonna bite. You're not begging them to bite. And it's a way that I can kind of, I think, fish twice as more many trees as a regular guy that might be flipping or fishing something slow. Net, net, biggin. That's the ones we're after right there. That's what I, you know, I'm fishing for. To run old Randy down, it would be nice. Me and Nick, uh, the guy in second place, he, uh, he's an extremely good angler. We're, uh, we're real good friends. We fish uh, some team events, um, have had a lot of success together over the years, uh, fishing together. Uh, it's funny though, being friends with somebody like that, you, you kind of, I don't know, I guess you almost get to start thinking alike some, and uh, I guess that's why we fish so good together. You know, both days, uh, day one and day two, I mean, we were right there basically basically starting right beside each other both days and didn't know what each other was, you know, gonna do. He's actually just right there on the other side of us. See them thread fin right there, they just swam by. Net, net. Come on, she's barely hooked. Don't, don't, don't jab her. Where's she at? Right here. Get under. I thought she was a little bit bigger than that. She had the back hook. Number four. Little one. But you gotta have a limit before you can call. There's rock. There's some kind of rock underneath this dock. I, I've been hung in it several times. And that's the difference. That's why they're here. Uh, I'll catch me one underneath that thing today yet sometime. The lake came down, got warm, 95 degree water temperature, and 
after my practice day out there and running some of that shallow stuff that didn't have any water left on it and not getting near the bites on top that we had, uh, I decided to, to fish a few yeah. docks and my, my practice partner that first day caught a six up. pounder and my last flip of the day I caught a four pounder on a boat dock. But the key was brush or rock around those docks. I had three docks that I found on this lake that every day I caught more than one bass on. You don't understand what's happened on this dock. We just moved back, uh, back in the timber and in the, in the cypresses. It just seems like the later in the day it gets, the shallower they get, and you just gotta get in there with them. When the tournament started, they were, they were on these trees, and now it seems like they're as far back up in here as you can get. Sure, wish I wasn't a spinning rod guy this week. Wish I had the confidence to catch them flipping. I'm making a top 10 here, and, and competing against these guys, these are some of the best fishermen that don't fish full time that's out here. I mean, these guys are absolute hammers, all of them. I, I seem to compete with them everywhere I go, and they're, all these guys are just awesome fishermen. So yeah, it's uh, to make that top 10 is it's real hard to do. Even getting to the All-American is even harder, but uh, making that top 10 pretty special. Number three, they're going to get a lot bigger. This dock's been good this week. I've had a co-angler on day two, caught one about four and a half. <clears throat> I had a four and a quarter yesterday. Net, oh, she got off. Mm. I've been catching uh, quite a few fish off this, uh, this Texas rig worm. Slammed it, didn't take it. Oh, it's a big one. You had him? Oh, he's got me on the other side of the cable. Oh, he come off. Got some coming. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Yes, baby. There you go. Here, grab the net. Gotcha. Good job. That may be the one I missed right there. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> drop shot. You never thought it'd be drop shot in the south, huh? It's amazing, like the first day of this tournament. If there was one up there, the first cast, your line would just be swimming across the pocket. I mean, there's no way that, I mean, there's still fish around. It's not like every one of them got caught. Maybe they've seen enough of that color. You know, I know that this lake is, um, you know, like I said, it's got a lot of big fish in it, but the pressure is probably starting to take a toll a little bit. So yeah, I think it's anybody's, anybody's game in the top 10. You know, there's gonna be some, there's gonna be some shaking things up on the final day. I think you're gonna see a lot of guys kind of shift around. You think too, like the way a lot of these fish have bit the last two days, like when they pick it up, I mean, they're gone with it, you know? Yeah, I know. Pretty good indication that they're yeah. not sitting there by themselves, you know? Oh, yeah, exactly. I had like, yesterday. I... Biggin, biggin, biggin. Nah, he ain't that big. We'll take him, man. There you go, bro. Yes, sir. Two and three quarters, brother. Got him. He sure did fool me when he took off there. All right, got to start somewhere. Made a quick color change. First cast, caught one. frustrating whenever you have a morning like I've had and, and can't even get a bite. I know there's a bass on that tree. I don't know if I'm gonna catch him or not, but I know he's sitting there. There's Nick. I mean, it's, it's no surprise that, that we found the same the same areas. Randy's gonna be hard to catch. Uh, he's a great angler and the most experienced angler in the field, but um, I know he's gonna bring it, but we're gonna have to bring it too. If ever there was a time to bring your game to the next level, it's on the final day of the TH Marine BFL All-American. Currently, Randy Deaver has the top spot on our leaderboard, but anglers like Tyler Morgan and Nick LeBrun are elevating their effort in pursuit of a $100,000 payday. It's so hard, I wanna 
make an adjustment with this wind blowing and throw a spinner bait, chatter bait, or something like that, especially with these shad moving around. But I'm not catching any, I haven't been catching any big ones. They've all been, you know, in these woods, in these woods, pretty much the big ones been on jig. You just don't get many bites. Anything can happen out here though. I mean, just like he had an eight pounder on day, uh, on day one. I mean, so anything, one big fish, you know, puts him up. I mean, I, I just know I've got to get him, do my part. That, big one, big one, that. Come on, girl, come on. Yeah, boom! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yes! Oh. Oh. Final day All-American. I need three more at least like that. I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna plan on him catching 20 pounds and I'm gonna have to really bring it, so. He's too good, he's not gonna stumble. Catching these big ones, uh, it, that builds momentum and you gotta have the momentum and the positive attitude and, and not get spun out to have a, a big day to win. Um, you're not gonna catch a big bag if your mind's not right and getting a big bite every once in a while, that, to me that builds momentum and tells me that I'm doing the right thing. I just need to stick, stick with my gut and and keep this bait in my hand. Net, biggin. Yeah, this side, over here. <clears throat> Good job, bro. If you can get a big bite, you know, every hour and a half or two hours, you're right on track to a big bag. And we've got two of the ones I need. <laughs> oh, man. Nice job, Pete. Good, Good job, job brother. Good job. Unbelievable, dude. You're on your way, brother. I was happy with this morning when you talked about coming to this side of the lake because of the wind because I was thinking the exact same thing. There's got to be a concentration of bait fish over here. I got one little one I need to call. Oh, baby. Four bites. Four bites. Just like the one Matthew just caught. He was a great co-angler. I've had some co-anglers before that are really pushing me down the bank. They're wanting to land on top of my bait and stuff like that. You got one? He never did that all day. He's very courteous, stood back there, did his own little thing, and Wait whooped second, my tail today. Oh my goodness, dude. Good job. Thank you, Roger. Dude, that's the biggest sack of the tournament on co-angler right there right now. That guy had me by like five and a half pounds, so I knew that's what I'd have to do if I was going to have it. It's just been absolute slow grind to get bit. Um, you know, I'm just kind of run out of water. I'm just fishing new stuff. I'm in the same area where I've caught them, but just trying to trying to beat out a limit and catch a couple good ones. I've got two good ones and two smaller fish. Just so hard to get bit for me. Net, net, big. One. Thank you. Very nice one. Picked up a jig. This is turning into a slugfest between Deaver and Lebrun. And we still have time left out on the water. Don't go away. The TH Marine PFL All-American is brought to you by Lawrence HDS Carbon. Find, navigate, dominate with Lawrence. Real Tree Fishing, the official pattern of FLW. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Polaris the world leader in off-road vehicles. And by Mercury Marine, go boldly. 50 of the best to come out here. I mean, just, 
to beat these guys in its own is an accomplishment. But to come out here and win one, I mean, that's, I mean, everything. I'm gonna put her on high to this one dock right down here where I had a big one two weeks ago. Uh, and then get back on over there and fish, finish the day out where I did it yesterday. I, I don't know, I ain't got nothing else. I didn't want to come out here and catch 13, 14 pounds. Randy's going to catch them, but if I could get one more big one, I might have a chance of running him down, I think. I said from the get-go, uh, you know, of course, I, I wanted to win, but if I couldn't win, I'd, I'd like to see him win. There's a sense of brotherhood among all competitive bass anglers, and it's on full display here at Cross Lake. Randy Deaver and Nick LeBrun have a lot of respect for each other, and they continue to stay ahead of the field as time is running out on this third and final day. I learned that uh, through the course of this tournament that the outer trees got hit the hardest, especially on the first day. The second day it was the same. Everybody stayed out there, you know, on those, on those outer trees, which I was fishing, and yesterday I struggled to catch everything I caught, and today I just, I wasn't doing any good, and I just decided that I was gonna go back as far as I can go and just see what happened, because I hadn't done it. I hadn't even done it in practice. They were, I've never seen fish that shallow. It looks like I'm gonna have to cut. I may either have to cut here or cut through there. Head back out. The later in the day it gets, the shallower they get, and you just gotta get in there with them. When you get around one, it's like he's going to eat. I mean, oh, I'm sure he would go buy some, but you just... They will eat it. It's just, they, they get it. They don't play with it. Yeah. You don't spook them off either. No. They eat it. Got it. Yeah. I got it. 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 I'm here. There's a coal. Look how, look how short that thing is. <laughs> look at that. Are you talking about me or the fish? <laughs> look at that. Jeez. That is as short as me. Right now, I'm just fishing the wind. I know I need a big one today. I need two more big ones, and fishing like this is the only way I think I can catch a seven pounder, you know? Cross Lake is very sensitive to pressure because it's so shallow, so it's a chess match. So I kind of know me and Randy have been sharing a lot of spots, and um, in your mind, you're thinking, okay, what, what's fresh? What hasn't been run through in the past couple hours? And, uh, and that's just where the decision making is, re is real key. It's all about timing on this lake because of the pressure. Net, big. He barely hooked, barely hooked. Uh! Lights out, bro. I got it. <clears throat> hey, good job. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> hey. Come off my I said, this is the juice right in here. There you go. Good cool there. Man, I needed that so bad. Number two boat, which is a good friend of mine, Nick LeBron, we were fishing a lot of the same stuff, uh, you know, throughout the tournament. And so basically I would fish the West End for a while till I thought I got, you know, as much weight as I could for the day. Uh, when I thought the fish, in my opinion, started shutting down on, on the West End, then I would move out to the main lake. I had key stretches of docks and trees, single trees, in my key stretches on the main lake. Big, big, big. Get him in the neck, get him in the neck. I think you just won. Good job. Thanks, man. Just think about that hog. It's big in there. The old drop shot. Again. You see what that fish was under? You see all them, them shad? Was it shad? I, I guess it was brush. No, they see that? I thought it was brush, that's why I flipped over there. The lake came down, got warm, 95 degree water temperature. I decided uh, to fish a few docks, but the key was brush or rock around those docks. Uh, I had three docks that I found on this lake that every day I caught more than one bass on. They're just, they're replenishing, they're in there. Uh, I noticed some gizzard shed skipping around on some of these places too, so the bait's there too. I caught a four pounder here yesterday. I lost one right there this morning. It's just one of those docks and I've got one more to hit and I'm running out of time. There's heavy brush in this dock and if I, if I knew more of this right here, I fished this meticulously slow this morning. And I had the one bite right over here that I, that I lost. I mean, he picked me up, got me in there. Yeah. Come out of there. Here he comes. Hurry. Big. 
Get him over here, get him over here, get him over here, get him over here. There you go. Here, bring him down to the bottom before you take him out. I got it, I got it. Are you sure? Yeah. Woo. Man, it's the time of day. Give me another hour and I can do it. There, baby. We've, we've got 10 minutes at most to fish. I don't even know if I got time for that other dock. Shreveport, Louisiana has been an amazing host for our all-American boaters and co-anglers. And now, it's time to crown a champion. All right, let's go put them on the scales. Great job today. We're just gonna see what happens. It was a good day. Uh, I can't ask for anything else. Got a few big bites. Um, probably gonna have about high teens. Had about the same number of bites that I have been getting the previous two days of the tournament. They just were smaller today. Just awesome to be here and awesome to get the opportunity to fish on the last day and, and, and make the cut. And uh, we're gonna head to the weigh-in and see how it all shakes out. First up are the co-anglers who have been fishing from the back of the boat in pursuit of a serious payday. A five bass limit! For Matthew O'Connell of Brooks, Georgia, a five bass limit, and he's got the kickers. 18 pounds, four ounces. Cross Lake was good to you, sir. Wow, number two's a good one. He said that's all of them today. Put in number one, wow. Number two, let's see number three, wow. Three, this is gonna be super close. 12 pounds, 13 ounces. Your champion is Matthew Bowden. Wow, getting it done at the TH Marine BFL All-American. I don't know what to say. This, um, whenever he pulled out the, the last one, I knew it was gonna, I knew it was gonna be close. Um, and uh, to see 12, 13, it was just, it's, it's amazing. Now it's time to see the boaters and find out who will punch their ticket to the 2018 Forest Wood Cup. At five pounds and four ounces, five pounds and 15 ounces, a five bass limits for Indiana's Marty Sisk, for Madison, Georgia's John Duvall, for Columbus, Georgia's Tyler Morgan. 13 pounds, five ounces, you got the lead by five ounces, man. Welcome our next boater to the stage from Cookville, Tennessee, Adam Wagner. If you've got them, if they're kickers, a five bass limit. Getting it done on championship Saturday is the Cookville, Tennessee boater, Adam Wagner. For Rob Jordan, worth 11 pounds even, Rob, that keeps you in fourth place with 49 pounds, five ounces. Wow! Man, that's fun stuff. Roger Fitzpatrick, four bass, number three, wow! A five bass limit for Nick LeBrun. 19 pounds, 15 ounces, you got the lead with one guy left. So hey, we've eliminated the entire field except for these two boaters. You need the giant, the cross lake kicker. Here we go, pull it out if you've got it. Wow! He found the kicker, Randy Deaver. That's good stuff right there. That's good stuff right there. All right, here we go. You're looking for 16-5 for the All-American title. Anything less, Nick, you're the champ. Here we go. A five-bass limit for Randy Deaver, worth 14 pounds, two ounces. Your champion is Nick LeBrun. Wow! is the TH Marine BFL All-American Champion. 2018 All-American Champ, hold it up high, and let's get loud for him, people. And you are the All-American Champion. You're going to the Forest Wood Cup in August, Hot Springs, Arkansas, Lake Wachita. I'm gonna see you there amongst the best anglers in the game today. I don't know what to say, I'm blown away. Um, at this point in my career, that means everything. 
Um, it really does. It means everything to my family and my sponsors and everybody that's, <coughs> that's texted or called me or, or liked a post or anything. Um, I'm humbled and blessed. Nick LeBrun gets it done with 62 pounds and eight ounces.